Hey guys, let's talk about Goodreads. Yeah, they were bought by Amazon a while ago, and yeah, some of my fellow booktubers jumped ship to avoid the shitstorm they knew was coming. I stayed because I have four years of book reviews and lists at Goodreads, and also I'm too lazy to switch to another site. Also, I thought that Amazon bought Goodreads because it's a good site. Why fix something that isn't broken, right? Wrong, apparently. Now, I am no way an expert on this subject. Honestly, some of their changes confuse me, and I'm going to try to explain them in a coherent manner. Let's start with the easy ones. They made their flag button more prominent, and they allow people to flag inappropriate friend requests, whatever that is. They're trying to make the site safer for their users. Good! very responsible. The argument can be made that all of these changes are just trying to make the site safer, but the rest of the changes seem to be overdoing it a little bit. You see, they're deleting user-generated content without warning and on a shaky criteria. Any shelves, lists, or reviews that have anything to do with an author's personality or behavior are being completely deleted. Any shelves dealing with avoiding a book for a certain reason are being deleted. A Goodreads member had 90 reviews deleted. 90. There's a lot of different opinions about whether or not one should take into account the author's behavior before deciding on reading that book. Okay, I, I personally think that a book is like a horror okay? You put a piece of yourself, your soul, into your work. Authors put their opinions in their books all the time. Don't even get me started about nonfiction. We're not, we're not even gonna go there. I personally want a heads up if the author is super bigoted because chances are the book is gonna make me really angry. Characters aren't going to be humanitarian liberals if the author is a bigoted asswipe. I don't want to buy a book of an author who's just going to use their money for evil. <coughs> Orson Scott Card. <coughs> but this is all, of course, just my opinion. What's bad here is the mass deleting of user-generated content that is not intended to harass an author. The reviews are simply trying to inform other readers. We, the people who have read the book, are just trying to give other people who are deciding whether or not to read that book the most information they can to make their decision. This is why Goodreads' final change sits pretty well with me, personally. They have made it so authors cannot comment on negative reviews. Now, I could have gone without the super condescending message that authors get whenever they try to comment on a negative review, and I'll post that below for you to judge by yourself, because it's pretty condescending. But that's really beside the point. Several authors are really pissed, but I'm actually kind of happy because I am sick of creators coming into fan spaces like the Goodreads review section or Tumblr tags and telling us that we're wrong. Our reviews are our opinion! Recently, a male mainstream author found a feminist review site and proceeded to get into a huge argument in the comments, and he told her that she was an idiot in reading his work wrong. I have written a pretty lengthy blog post about this incident, and we'll link that below. I've included the links to what happened, the, the blog that you can read, all of the comments, and also a few other articles about fan spaces versus creator spaces and all of that good things. And please let me know what you think about authors commenting on negative reviews because this is a really interesting subject to me and I really want to hear your thoughts. So in conclusion, I am super conflicted about Goodreads right now. It's like they're trying to give both the authors and the reviewers what they want, but they're just pissing off both sides. So what are you guys using to track your books? still reading Goodreads, book likes, library thing, or something else. Please let me know because wherever booktube migrates is most likely where I'm going to end up because I'm a conformist. So please comment down below. I really want to get a conversation started about authors and reviewers and how they should treat each other and negative and positive comments and all of that good stuff. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye! I jingle. <laughs> Bye.